Uh, hello, so my name's Liam and I am the brewer at North Lane Brew House, one of Lane Brew Co's four breweries in the country. Um, this is where it all began. Uh, the North Lane Brew House has been running for nearly 10 years now as part of, uh, as part of Lane's, but we also have uh, breweries in Battersea at the Four Thieves and in Hackney uh, at the People's Park Tavern. So my beginning in brewing was with an office job that I had in London that I felt uh, needed a change. Uh, I was very lucky and I moved to Otter Brewery in East Devon, which is a fantastic place to learn, very traditional English ale brewery, very high quality uh, production beers, with a load of great people there who were very passionate uh, and knew what they were doing and were very happy to teach the people that worked there about the best way of doing stuff. Um, de at Lanes I have the other end of the scale, brewing in a pub produces its own different technical challenges. You're working in other people's space. One of the things that I really enjoy is being able to pitch up at the end of the bar and see people order the beers that I've made. Uh, there's no real more like comforting feeling that you get when someone turns to their friend and goes, oh yeah, get a pint of that, it's lovely. Um, so the brew pub is absolutely fantastic. We're in the heart of Brighton. We have an enormous space for events and all sorts of people to come in and we have the drag brunches on Saturday and roast dinners on a Sunday. So it's a really nice environment. Um, I, I, I'm going to look really sycophantic by saying this, but it's, it's the exact sort of environment that I would choose to drink. The selection of beers they've got is really good, uh, no less than what is, what is made over their shoulder. Um, and the vibe is just really nice. It's really gentle and it's really friendly and welcoming. One of the beers that I wanted to do for a long time was a coconut mild. So in May this year, which is the traditional month for mild, uh, we had a lovely sort of dark, almost very slight bitterness, um, quite a thick beer, and then we had a little bit of coconut layered in there. Um, I love the idea of taking traditional styles, especially traditional British styles, and, and forcing them into the 21st century, and we were really able to do that with that coconut mild. Um, it's a really, really good beer style, and the brew pubs are fantastic for really pushing the boat out with what we're, what we're capable of doing. Um, in the tank at the moment, we have a Raspberry Ripple White Stout, we have a plum crumble sour uh, and then in the end of this month we're going to be doing a long black uh, espresso stout. We're playing with or blood orange rye IPAs. Uh, we also have a salted caramel porter due out in time for Christmas. So we're really looking to play with flavours that aren't necessarily as traditional that you would find in, um, in, in mainstream uh, beer production. Our output at North Lane is the same as all our other brew pubs, which is quite small, relatively speaking. Um, we work in a really unfortunate imperial unit of measurement called Brewer's Barrels, which is also unhelpfully broken down into 36 gallons. Um, so I guess we're, you're looking at doing a, a normal run is about 24 kegs. So everything we do has a really limited uh, availability. We're lucky that we're supported by 30 pubs in London and about 30 pubs in Brighton. So all of the beer that comes out of the Lanes brew pubs is only available in the Lanes estate, short of a few beer festivals and stuff like that. We try and keep it as exclusive as possible and we try and keep our um, more interesting, more weird and wonderful stuff uh, in-house because we know we've got good staff to look after it uh, and we know it's going to be really appreciated by drinkers as well.